Hi guys, it's Vanille and welcome to today's video and welcome to another WWE reaction. This video was recommended by David Sucks. Oh my god, why would you say that? David doesn't suck. And he said, Bunny, you should watch What Happened to the Children of Dead Wrestlers by Tap Out Corner. I did find the video, so if you are interested in checking out the original video, you can always go to Tap Out Corner and check it out. The title is What Happened to the Children of Dead Wrestlers. And if you are interested in my reaction, then stay tuned. Also, I do react videos that are blocked, copyrighted, or full matches that, of course, I cannot show them on YouTube. So a bit of longer type of WWE content on my Patreon. Patreon.com slash support bunny. If you are interested, you can go and check it out there. All right, let's go and react to this video, shall we? Wrestling matches may be predetermined, but the sport has claimed a lot of lives. Like any death, many people are affected, and some that are the most impacted are the children. So what happened to the kids of wrestlers who died young? Let's begin with Umaga. While his WWE Umaga, career only lasted about three years, the Samoan bulldozer accomplished a lot in that time and made a name for himself. In June 2009, Umaga was released from his WWE contract. About six months later, tragedy struck. Umaga's wife found him unconscious at their home. He was rushed to the hospital where he passed away. The cause of death being two heart attacks. Umaga not only left behind a wife, but four children, and unfortunately, his family fell into poverty. This led to Umaga's son, Isaiah Fatu, getting no arrested way. at the age of 15 for aggravated robbery. He yeah. ended up getting put behind bars and spent six years in prison. In March 2022, Isaiah was released and thankfully turned his life around. He became Muslim and is now following oh. in his father's footsteps. Okay. In December 2020, Isaiah started training at Booker T's school, Reality of Wrestling. Then, yeah, in June cool. 2023, the fourth generation wrestler made his debut as Zilla Fatu. Isaiah okay. also paid tribute to his late father by using Umaga's signature, Ooh. Simone Spike. That's cool. Getting the power. Not many people know this, but Andre the Giant had a child. Robin really? Christensen Rusimov was, was born in 1979. Too? While Robin did have regular contact with her father, she only got to see him five times oh, in her entire did. life. Okay. This was partially due to the strained relationship between Andre and Robin's mother. Despite mm -hmm. this, Andre did his best to give his daughter the best life possible by Aww, paying child support so nice. and setting up a trust fund for her. Today, Robin lives in Seattle, Washington, and while she has never been involved in wrestling, she does look after her father's legacy. Anytime Andre the Giant's likeness or name is used in anything, Robin has a say and also gets royalties from oh, it. Most recently, so she's nice. been consulting on an Andre the Giant biopic. Unlike everyone else I love that the fact she's there like signing some pictures and people are buying those and supporting him because they know if they did love him, they will love his child and they will support his child as well. They would not let her suffer and that is really nice. See, this is only in WWE community. They're the best. Like pro wrestling, I mean, overall. About in this video, Chris Benoit is actually responsible for the yeah. death of one of his children. In June 2007, the former world champion killed his wife and seven-year-old son and then took his own. However, Benoit had two children from a previous marriage, David, who was 14, and Megan, who was 10. After Chris Benoit's death, both continued to live with their biological mother in Edmonton, Alberta. After staying out of the public eye for over a decade, David Benoit became more public, doing interviews and appearing at wrestling shows. Oh, I would he discussed like to hear what he training and was even booked to be in a match. Currently, David is in Edmonton working in the oil industry. Chris Benoit's daughter, Megan, has been a lot more quiet though. In fact, it wasn't until 2023 that Megan mm -hmm. Benoit had an Instagram account. The now 26 year old shared a few pictures of her and her father. Aww. Beyond that though, but, like, not much is known about Megan Benoit. In 2019, the wrestling I world mean, was- the fact that they, it is so interesting. I wish there is a documentary with the children, maybe. There is that documentary that I am I'm gonna be making about him and, and learning more about the whole situation because it is very, it's very traumatic. It's very sad. It's, it's very bad. Um, but there are wrestling fans who are still supporting him and love him and kind of like forgave him for what he has done. And I don't know where I'm standing. I would never be able to forgive like something. I, I don't know. But to see the children forgave him, like I want to know how, why. And like, I really want to know what's going on because it is interesting to know that that even the closest to him would, would still forgive him and, and move on from it. And I think it's also very like for the healing process, it's important to forgive. Maybe not forget, but forgive. Um, and yeah, I would like to know more, definitely.
hit hard by the sudden death of Ashley Massaro. Massaro oh. joined WWE in 2005 after winning the Diva Search competition. Okay. She spent about three years with the company, but left in 2008. The reason was so Ashley could care for her then seven-year-old daughter, Alexa, oh. who was sick. Tragically, oh. in May 2019, Massaro took her own life. In the wake of her mother's passing, a GoFundMe was set up for Alexa Massaro. The oh. campaign raised $100,000 that, so that went to Alexa sad. Massaro. That is so, so sad. Dude, like being a mother of a child that needs you and then just leaving them behind. How troubled she was that she would decide to do something like that to her own daughter. Like, I understand like if you want to do something, like I don't understand, but like, I mean, if you're by, own, by your own self and you decide to do something like that and it's only your life that you are thinking about, but when you have a family or a husband or kids, it's it's not your your role isn't just your existence you're a mother you're a wife you know like there is so much more things that you have to take care of and think about because you leaving would would mess up so many lives you know and it is sad it is really sad like you have to be so down so bad to do something like that education. As of right now, Ashley Massaro's daughter is currently a student in Smithtown, New York. While Alexa hasn't given any hints that she wants to become a wrestler, she has did some work as a model, which is what her mother did as well. Owen Hart's death was one of the most sensational in wrestling history due to it happening during a live broadcast. Hart was meant to make a superhero-like entrance by being lowered from the rafters of the arena and into the ring. However, there was a malfunction and Owen fell to his death. He left behind a wife and two kids, a seven-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter. In the aftermath, Owen Hart's children were each given $3 million in a settlement. Owen's son, Oge, is now 31 years old in 2023. He's currently attending a school in London, studying to get his PhD in human rights law. Oge Hart is also an artist, guitarist, and world traveler. Owen's daughter, Athena, turned 28 in 2023. In 2016, she graduated with a degree in journalism and also obtained licenses in nutrition and personal training. Oge and Athena have not been involved with wrestling in any capacity, which is understandable. That was until 2022, oh. when Owen Hart's children, as well as his wife were in attendance for AEW Dynamite, oh. who had begun hosting the Owen Hart Cup tournament in 2021. The Foundation. news of Luke Harper, okay. aka Brody Lee's death, was very sudden and very sad. The former Wyatt family member passed away due to a rare condition called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which causes lung tissues to thicken and unable to function. At the time of his passing, Harper had two sons, eight-year-old oh. Brody and three-year-old Nolan. Nolan will be turning six in December 2023, and in August 2023, the son of the Backwoods Brawler started kindergarten. Nolan is hoping to become a video game programmer, while his older brother, Brody, is already following in his dad's footsteps. Aww. In the aftermath of Brody Lee's passing, the oldest son, Brody Lee Jr., made his and AEW debut. Envy. He soon joined his father's doesn't... faction, the Dark Order, and started being called Negative One. AEW even signed Luke Harper's son to a contract that'll become Ooh. valid on January 17th, 2030, his 18th Ooh. birthday. That is, of course, if Negative One decides he wants to pursue a career That's in wrestling. So cool, even man. though he had been retired for years, the Ultimate Warrior death was still shocking for many. The reason was that Warrior had just made his return to Monday Night Raw the day before his death. Making it even more tragic was that Warrior's wife became a widow and his two daughters were left without a father. Warrior's oldest child, Indiana, will be turning 23 years old in 2023, while his youngest, Madigan, will be 21. While both haven't stepped inside the ropes yet, Indiana did get into the highly competitive Colburn School as a ballet student. Currently, mm. Indiana attends the University of Texas at Austin, where she's majoring nice. in youth and community studies while also working as a professional caregiver. So the Ultimate Warrior's youngest daughter, Madigan, is pretty private about her life, but it's assumed she's in school as well. Shad Gaspard's death was both tragic and heartwarming. In May 2020, the former WWE wrestler and his son Wait, was swimming at... Wait, is that a saying for somebody's death? Heartwarming? Like, I thought it's only when it's something pleasant. Beach in Los Angeles when they got caught in a strong rip current. Lifeguards came to help them, but Gaspard told the guards to save his son first. While Gaspard's 10 year old son, Arye, got to safety, Shad was swept away and ultimately died. Gaspard's son is now 13 years old and keeps people posted through Why his Instagram account. Even them? though he's still in middle school, Arye is already in the gym and lifting weights. It's possible we'll see Arye Gaspard inside a wrestling ring, and but it appears his love is for football and basketball. Either way, it looks like Arye is making his dad proud and 
doing what he loves. Crash Holly died only about four months after he got released from his WWE contract. After a roughly five year long career with the company, Holly was let go in June 2003. In November of that year, Holly took his own life at the young age of 32 after receiving divorce papers from his wife. Crash left behind an eight year old daughter named like, Patty, but luckily she was taken care of. Crash's storyline cousin, Molly Holly, helped raise funds for Patty's education. As of today, Crash Holly's daughter lives in Santa Clara, California, where she's working on getting her GED and currently works as an assistant manager at Little Caesars. Brian Pillman blurred the lines between fiction and oh, real yeah. life so much that when he died, some people didn't believe it at first. The loose no cannon way. passed away alone in his hotel room at the age of 35 on the day of a WWE pay-per-view. Pillman had six children, two stepkids and four biological, and unfortunately, they were not well cared for. His daughter oh, Brittany my. and only son Brian Pillman Jr. were physically abused by their mother's new husband and at times no. didn't know where their next meal was coming from. Tragedy struck the Pillman family once again when Brian Pillman's stepdaughter Alexis passed away younger than her father. When she was in her mid-twenties, Alexis wanted to get into wrestling and began training. She started working as a valet and manager and even got an opportunity to work at a TNA Impact Wrestling show. However, Alexis's life came to an abrupt end before her career could take off. In November 2009, Alexis was involved in a failed car crash and she died at just 26 years old. There is good news though. Both Brittany and Brian Pillman Jr. are doing much better. Brittany graduated from college in 2016 and now runs her own clothing store called Ash Haven Co. in Edgewood, Kentucky. She's also married and has a two-year-old son. Brittany has even attended wrestling shows to support her brother. At the age of 23, Brian Pillman Jr. laced up his boots and began training. He quickly made a name for himself and within a few years joined AEW. In July 2023, the second generation wrestler's contract expired and soon joined WWE. He's currently Ooh. performing at NXT under the name nice. Lexus King. Lexus 11 King. miles okay. from where Brian Pillman died, another wrestler would die young. Eddie Guerrero's passing in 2005 hit the wrestling world hard, but it hit his family even harder. Eddie left his wife, Vicky Guerrero, as well as three daughters. Latino oh. Heat's oldest, Shaw Guerrero, got into the family business and wrestled for WWE. In 2010, nice. Shaw signed a contract with WWE and started training at their development system, FCW, which later became NXT. She wrestled under the name Raquel Diaz, but her career was short-lived. She oh, ultimately what? left WWE in 2014 due to an but eating disorder. Eating Thankfully, disorder. she recovered, oh. and in 2016, Shaw got married to WWE wrestler Aiden English. While nice. she isn't an active competitor right now, Shaw is still involved in wrestling, doing yeah, ring announcing nice. and commentating for a number of companies, including AEW. Oh, Shaw is cool. 33 years old as of 2023 and currently lives in Chicago. She has spent the past several years working as a burlesque Ooh. dancer. Eddie Guerrero's second oldest oh, child, Sherilyn Guerrero, okay. didn't become a wrestler, but that's does a, tell stories. That's a shift in career choices. I mean, I don't understand why me personally would try to get back into WWE and get back to becoming a pro wrestler. But yeah, her choice in her own way. The 28-year-old currently lives in Houston, Texas, where she works as a client coordinator at the medical aesthetics provider Ideal Image, as well as a freelance photographer and artist. Additionally, Sherilyn is a content creator, posting videos to TikTok and her She's photography to Instagram. Too. Sadly, Sherilyn is not on good terms with her mother, Vicky, and her sister. In April 2023, yeah. Sherilyn posted a video to TikTok she where she said she got assaulted by her stepfather in early oh, 2020. No. According to Sherilyn, both her mom, Vicky Guerrero, and her sister, Shawl locked her from their phones. Sherilyn added that Vicky basically sided with her husband. After Sherilyn posted the video, Vicky responded by saying her daughter was a hostile, narcissistic person, among other accusations. Eddie Guerrero also story. had a third child True. from a different relationship. Kaylee Guerrero wasn't even four years old when her father passed away. Despite that, Kaylee was accepted by Vicky as part of her family. The now 21-year-old is a special effects makeup artist for film <gasps> and seems to have so a specialty cool. for horror. It's also worth mentioning that Santino so Morella cool. has a daughter in WB right now. To see her, watch this video. Former WWE wrestlers, wait, wait, what the, the, the video? WB. Uh, former WWE wrestlers who have children in WWE. Oh yeah, I should react to that next. What do you think? Should I? Let me know in the comments down below. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a sad video. We have more, even more deaths after the creation of this video. And it is really, really sad. But to see that a lot of the children managed and they even got support from the audience and the fans, it melts my heart. That is really nice. The saddest one is when a father, when the father gave up his life to support his son. 
Okay, let me see where that was. It was here. His name is... Cool as well. Shad Gaspard's death was both tragic and... Shad's death. That's the saddest one. Shad's death was the saddest one in my opinion because he literally gave up his... He had a choice to survive, but he gave up his life to his son. I, 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 I'm not a parent. I don't know how that feels like, but even knowing that you are such a significant name and you have so many uh, people who are fans and looking uh, up to you, so you know that your role in life... Uh, is is really important but yet still you know that the life of your innocent child who is a nobody to the world but everything to you that you would give up your own life to give it to your child that's only with parents and i don't know how that feels like hopefully one day i will but it's an, an amazing feeling it's, it's beyond i i can't believe it. that's why i'm always so emotional when i see stuff like this happening what a hero but also it adds so much uh, stress to the child because the child knows that their parents gave up their life being on top basically just for you to survive i feel like it will make him work harder to prove that it was worth it you know to his father and make his father proud because his father literally gave up his life to to his life for him um but yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more also if you want to go the extra mile go to the share button and copy the link you don't have to share it anywhere it just helps with the algorithm have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a brand new video bye